now that we have this unboxed, let's begin our setup. So we do have the quick start guide that comes with, and you will also get an email. Let me pull up that email. You'll get an email that says set up your blank video doorbell. And number one step, it says open the blank. Number two, it says add your video doorbell. Number three says prefer installation. Add it to Alexa, step number four. Let's see if that matches what we have in the quick start guide that comes with. So sign in, create account in the Blink app, add device by clicking the plus button, follow the in-app instructions to complete. Um, yeah, that's pretty similar. It doesn't include installation. Um, Let's uh, let's hop on over to the Blink app here. All right, so we are in the Blink app. I'm signed in. I'm going to click the plus button. Start with the sync module, then add your video doorbell. OK, start with the plus button here. Start with the sync module, it says. OK. So it wants us to scan the QR codes. So I'll flip this guy over. You're going to scan it. Create a new system. OK. So if you already have a system, it will show up. Otherwise, you can add this to it. I'm just going to name my home like the suggestion. Men's. All right, so now it says plug in your sync module and wait for the lights to display. So I, this is the stock USB cable. I'm just going to be using one that I have handy over here. Kind of stands out because it's red. All right, booting up blue light. red lights. Oh, now we got a matching blinking blue and steady green. Let's click discover device now. And connect to device. Yes, connect. It says connected. I'll connect to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Click join after I put in the password here. It's going to take a second to connect and set everything up. You'll see the lights flashing different, different ways. Updating sync module firmware. I guess while that's going, we must as well put batteries in. Get ready to put batteries in the doorbell. I'm going to open the door here. Put it face down. I'm going to take the batteries that it came with. Take them out of the box and we'll set the box to the side there. You've got to make sure that you face them the right way. So the two on the outside have the negative end towards the bottom. I'll wait until I put this one up. That's going to have the negative end towards the top. All right, the sync module is added to the home system. So let's click the plus button again and add a blank video doorbell. So we're going to scan the QR code on the back here. We're going to add it to the home system. Just remove battery cover. Push the tab at the bottom of the back and with the battery cover. So that is what I already showed you. Insert the batteries. Oh, it's going to be a kind of tight fit. 
these all. Yeah, put that in there. Right. There we go. Maybe I should put that center one in first. It's kind of sunk in there. All right, so I will put the battery cover back on. I see the light flashing red on the front. I'll get that over so you guys see it. There we go. It flashes. Now that I got the batteries in, I'm going to click continue in the app. Wait until the light blinks red. All right, so it's waiting to be discovered. I'm going to click discover device. So it's adding my doorbell, still looking. Wait one minute. Now it's updating the firmware. This will take a few minutes. So we're gonna let it update the firmware here. Yeah, I'm not doing the hardware, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And I think we are done with the quick start guide because we're following the NAP instructions now. All right, the doorbell has been added. Let's continue to complete setup. What you'll need to mount your doorbell. So you can follow the instructions to mount the doorbell. I, um, that's all the stuff I'd set to the side earlier. So you'll need the screws, you'll need this, and then you'll need tools and apparently tape. So if you guys want to see a video on how to actually mount that, let me know and I will show you. For right now, I'm going to skip it and say maybe later. It says your doorbell installation is complete. Click done. And then the screen shows up showing my video doorbell and my sync module is online. Both are online. You get 30 days of a plus plan trial if I'd like. But I, um... Another sync module that I need to try to add this to to store locally. This doesn't look like it has local storage in there. I wonder if they're trying to get rid of that. So I can arm the system. I can disarm it. Let me, uh, I'm going to point the video doorbell outside here and see what kind of view we get. There we go. I can save this video if I'd like. By settings, which I will save for another video. We are all set. Alright, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.